can we can challenge Fuji Musumi. Let's say hello. And uh, I'm Gote, so let's see how he plays. So just opening up the bishop's diagonal. Nice, right, thinking about his next move. Huh, he closed the diagonal. Okay, so he doesn't want the, the bishop trade. At least not right away. Here, let's put the sh push the rook file pawn forward and see where he wants to, uh, how he wants to defend this square. You have to be careful when he pushes his pawn forward, it'll open up that diagonal again. And <clears throat> those bishop trades can lead to Tactical complications, always got to be careful. <clears throat> okay, I right. brought his rook over here to the third file. So if he had played this pawn forward, this would be a quick Ishida attack, but uh, well, maybe he's going to play that forward on the next move. Now let's push again. I just was watching the videos about the quick Ishida attack from uh, Hidechi. Oh, so he blocks with the bishop, which puts the bishop in front of the rook. It's a bit weird, huh? Okay, so it seemed like this was a good move in many lines so let's let's get the silver up there i haven't quite figured out what's my castling strategy if um yeah if i go for the yagura castle it's actually kind of weak from the side so maybe i would be better doing something like the gangi Okay, and he brings his silver forward. Yeah, I think I'm going to put this silver in front of the bishop so this uh, <clears throat> this diagonal doesn't open up unexpectedly or suddenly. It can open now, but I can play bishop to this square. I can put my bishop, not my bishop, I can put my silver on this square. That's what I meant to say. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Then uh, bring the golds up, maybe even the king. Just move it to the side. It's a little bit of a slower game. I, I usually ask for the 10 and 30, but this is 15 and 60. So we'll have 60 seconds for each move when it goes into uh, Bioyomi. Yeah, I'll go ahead. I was wondering which gold to move first. I was gonna put the golds here and here. But I thought, um, yeah, I would take take the opportunity to move my king over one step <clears throat> and then bring the other gold up. So he's going for a Mino castle. And um, maybe I can uh, break my bishop out to one of these squares. Okay, yeah, that's a typical move in the Mino castle, giving the king an escape square over here. 
Let's push, push the edge pawn forward once as well. And now, um, let's start pushing these pawns forward. The bishop might come back here to here. What did he do? He's, oh, he's repositioned his bishop over here. He's looking at this square, maybe looking at pushing a pawn forward over here. Yeah, let's drop my bishop down here. <clears throat> it's looking in both directions, out this way and back this way. So my plan is to bring this other silver out. And push this pawn forward. Ah, so he brings his... Um, Bishop to there, attacking my rook here and defending along this diagonal towards his king. It's blocked with the uh, silver, defended by the knight. Could also have blocked with the bishop, perhaps. Because the silver is kind of pinned now. Um, but the silver can keep coming forward here. Is that true? He can push, um, he can push that pawn forward if I do that. I think I will, um, move the rook out of the way of the bishop there before I, uh, before I do anything else over here. Unpin the silver <clears throat> and then maybe push these pawns. And my rook is opposing his rook. Okay, so he pushes this pawn forward. If I take, he takes, I can take with the silver. <clears throat> he can drop a pawn. I push, he takes, I take. He drops <clears throat> a pawn. Could come forward. How about if I... Um, maybe it's dangerous to do that. If I push and he takes. And then we do that exchange. It'll give me a target here. Yeah, let's try this. So the idea is I'm going to push this pawn and then push this pawn. And if he takes both of them, then I'll take back with the silver attacking this pawn. And he does have the bishop looking at the lance along the diagonal there, but I'm going to ignore that for now. Yeah, he takes. Let's push again. Ah, so he doesn't uh, he doesn't take my pawn. He pushes forward. So he's hitting the the bishop. Now I can step aside over here, but then I um, in danger of losing this pawn. Yeah, he just takes. So now when he pushes forward, it'll be a double attack. He pushes forward and promotes. I can take it and threaten this pawn, but it's hitting my silver, I mean, my lance in the corner. Hmm. So 
there's something I could do to attack that. Bring the gold up. I would attack it. It pushes forward. I can still take it. And he takes here. And I can take here. I can take here. Yeah, looks like that was bad timing on the pawn pushes. Well, he threw in a nice intermediate move that push. I wasn't, I wasn't ready for that. Hmm. Yeah, and I don't have pieces I could drop. Okay, well, let's um, start to bring the silver over. Maybe I can use that to attack his, his bishop. Ah, he brings his knight forward. So that's interesting. He didn't push forward here. So I just go straight ahead. The silver can't go along this diagonal. So I can chase the silver off of this diag... I mean, the bishop. With my silver, I can chase the bishop off of that diagonal. And then I can take this pawn. And, uh, yeah, he's hitting this silver. Ah. No time to take the pawn, huh? No good retreating move or advancing move. His uh, pawn covers this square. His bishop covers this square. The square is covered by the pawn. The square is blocked. So I can defend it with the rook. What's he going to do then? We will see. Maybe he just pushes those pawns forward. <laughs> I can take them if he pushes them forward. So he brings the knight in. Okay, the knight is threatening to come here. So let's um, take this pawn. And um, I'll be covering this square. Although he wins a silver for a knight. Oh, no, no, the knight covers that square too. Never mind. So if he pushes that pawn forward, I can take with the knight. And my silver is still protected here. Keeps taking, I take back with the silver. Let's see, and my bishop is on this diagonal, which is good. I wanted to get there. And I have a pawn I can drop now. Although not so many. Where are my open files? Here. And here. These two files are open. meaning they don't already have a uh, pawn in them. So I can drop a pawn legally. Well, there is just uh, silver up here, or pawn forward. Ah, so he, he decides to block this uh, diagonal. Also, he's, he's hitting my silver. <laughs> And the silver has no retreating squares. Okay, the silver went out on a limb and got in trouble. Yeah, it went forward when it attacked the uh, bishop, and then I didn't uh, didn't arrange for an escape square. Okay, so I can take the pawn. He can take. I can trade bishops. Do I have a good bishop drop then? Checks on the king. Tax on the rook. Yeah, I could drop the bishop here. 
uh, the rook moves and then I could take the uh, the silver there but the rook could move to defend the silver and uh, and then my uh, my bishop is trapped in the back can't go this way and can't go this way I can move it and promote to a horse but I need a place to go mm hmm Could drop a pawn here attacking his um, knight, I guess. Okay, well, I, I think this is the best I can do. So, bishop takes, bishop takes, pawn drop. Knight can't come forward. Don't we'll take it. Oh, look at that. He retreated. Is he attacking something? Okay, well, let's uh, threaten threaten something here. I'm going to take and then push the pawn forward, attacking the pinned silver, although the silver can come forward. Yeah, pinned silver is not is kind of a slippery piece, isn't it? Because um say say I take, he takes, I push the pawn forward, silver just steps forward diagonally, and it's defended by the bishop, attacked by the bishop, and then I could start pushing this pawn forward, but a little bit slow here. See, do I have any good pawn drops to dis discoordinate him? Ah, that, that gives him more support on this square. Okay, so if I drop back here, I will once again be taken. But I'll take back with the bishop hitting the uh, lance and threatening the pawn drop here, attacking his knight. So let's just slide back here. Hmm. Left this pawn hanging. The bishop takes pawn. What does it do? It doesn't do anything great immediately, but he can maybe come in here. Yeah, he can come in here hitting my rook. So bishop takes pawn, threatens bishop to this square. Bishop takes pawn, the threatening bishop here, attacking my, uh, attacking my, uh, Rook and promoting to a horse. That's probably pretty strong. Um, but he tried a pawn push. Okay, so let's um, drop back here defending this pawn. I still want to. Uh, <laughs> I still want to get a pawn push in that attacks. Uh, that attacks his rook. He can't drop a pawn here. He can drop a silver here. I mean, I want to drop a pawn here that attacks his knight. That's <laughs> maybe I'm being a bit single-minded. Now the pawn comes forward. Uh, okay, so he's going to resolve this situation. Ah, his rook is on it. Okay. Yeah, his rook is on it, so I can take and he can take back. With the rook promoting to a dragon. Hmm. Ah, because my bishop had been defending along that diagonal and it got kicked back.
Yeah, that's true. Hmm. <clears throat> so if I take Just uh, sort of inviting him in. I could step back, but he can keep pushing forward. Okay, well, we'll see what we got here. But he won, yeah, a couple of uh, minor pieces there. I got a knight. Knight here is a possibility. Need to get my bishop back on this diagonal. Yeah, he's got two silvers <clears throat> and a knight. And I have one knight that I've captured. Where is, oh yeah, there's the two silvers. Yeah, so he's got, uh, okay. Yeah, he's got quite a bit of force here. Probably enough to uh, Take me out. Um, let's put the rook somewhere where it won't get attacked. Not giving up just yet. I, I want to play uh, bishop here and knight drop and see if I can get something going. <coughs> My king position, well, it only, it's only got the two generals, so it's not so great. But he can't mate me immediately anyway, it looks like. And the bishop here will hit his uh, dragon. Pondrap here will check his king. Or knight, knight drop there will check his king. And the pawn will be pinned. <clears throat> but what's the follow-up? Do I have any great follow-up here? I could uh, push the pawn first. He takes and then bishop here check, wins. Okay, so he's going with a knight there. Mm -hmm. Blocking that diagonal and threatening to take here. So let's uh, push the pawn forward. Yeah, so now if he uh, moves that uh, knight then I have the check so let's attack the knight <coughs> and he attacks my rook ah he attacks my rook and my uh, gold So I can give the check, I can take the uh, knight, he takes my rook, I take his dragon.
Yeah, he can move the king or he can block with the silver. Oh no, he didn't he didn't notice. He didn't notice that um he didn't notice that he was in in uh, check. Oh my gosh. Well, thanks for the game. Hey, it's nice to get a win in. <laughs> I took a look at this game with the help of uh, Elmo here and I thought we'd go over this uh, quickly. Um, so seems like the opening was okay. I turned this around so um, I'm on the bottom here as you'd expect. And um, the bars when they go up, my opponent is Gote. So I mean my opponent is Sente, I'm Gote. And uh, so the positive scores are good for Sente. So he really was winning after I uh, pushed those pawns at the wrong time. But it seems like I'm doing okay through the opening. Maybe a few missteps pushing pushing the wrong pawns here and there. Um, but uh, first uh, questionable move that uh, that uh, Elmo points out is this uh, defense. You know, I was I was annoyed by this. Uh, this pin on the silver there. And so I was trying to uh, unpin right away. But um, yeah, the um, the uh, Elmo here is not worried about that. Instead of moving the rook, he would move the bishop from 3a to 4b. So that would be uh, this move, bishop 3a to 4b. Um, well, maybe just preparing to castle. The king could then come over like this. And maybe the bishop on this square would be doing doing some useful work on that diagonal as well as uh, continuing to keep an eye on this diagonal. Um, it does, you know, maybe help hinder the influence of uh, this bishop on the on the D, what is that, the 2D square. Uh, hey, that's all I can think of. Anyway, I think it's just a, a bit of maneuvering and uh, the rook is on a good diagonal and I shouldn't, shouldn't worry so much about the pinned bishop. It's not uh, going to be needed immediately. I just have this uh, reflex to want to unpin immediately. Anyway, in this case, yeah, it wasn't wasn't so great to do that. Um, so, but that, that's what I did. I unpinned. Let's see. And he pushed a pawn forward. And then I started playing actively with my pawns. And this is just a mistake. And the game really just starts to go downhill from there. I think it's still kind of playable at this point for me. Minor mistakes, but typical of players at my level. So nothing that should be game ending. Let's see. So I just pushed the pawn here and it didn't work. I thought I was going to be able to uh, push one pawn and push the other. Um, but when he pushed back instead of taking, so I was planning to have him um, take this pawn and then I could get my silver up here attacking uh, his pawn. And uh, I thought that would all work out. But um, I, I didn't mind sacrificing a pawn to activate the pieces. But in fact, uh, he just pushed ahead and uh, and that just uh, <laughs> puts an end to my plan there. Uh, I have to move the silver away. So back up, what should I have played here instead of pushing the pawn? Um, it's recommending silver 3c to 4d. So come in with the silver. Oh no, with the other silver. Start, start maneuvering with the other silver. 3c to 4d, that is, uh, that is this. And maybe uh, push this pawn forward. I actually end up moving that silver in a few moves anyway. Um, so I think that's part of the plan. It's just saying that uh, I'm not going anywhere over here and I should work on the other side, I think. And in fact, in the game, let's see, after I realized this was not working out, um, then yeah, I had to move my silver out of the way first because it was attacked by a pawn. And, but then my next move was to was to do that silver move the, uh, that Elmo was recommending. But by this time, I'm already uh, losing. You can see the evaluation. Um, let's see. There's one step here where maybe I had a chance to get back in the game. I don't think I um, figured this one out. Let's see, I played... <clears throat> oh yeah, he retreated. I, I, I was uh, attacking with my silver. Seems like a reasonable thing to do, supported by the bishop. He retreated as bishop. And then uh, I moved a pawn forward. Instead of doing that, um, yeah, this was a mysterious rook move. The a Elmo here is recommending rook 8b to 6b. So that would be this move. Bring the rook over here. Uh, wrong button. Rook uh, 8b to 6b. I'm not sure. It uh, it defends my bishop and puts my rook opposite his, uh, his knight and uh, his bishop. And it is an open file there, so maybe it's just more active 
uh, place for the rook. In any case, this uh, attack over here towards his king seems to be stymied at the moment and pushing ahead with the uh, pushing ahead with the uh, pawn the way I did is not uh, is not going to work out for me. Um, so anyway, here we are. I, I pushed ahead with the pawn. Yeah, now he's just winning all the rest of the game. And um, but I'm still going for counterplay. He's just coming in too strong. He's got got quite a lead here at this point, and uh, and my attack is too slow. But I did have this uh, one idea here, which was to um, sacrifice a pawn, which I did by playing here and open up this diagonal. Let's see, am I going forwards or backwards? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I sacrificed a pawn. He takes it. And then uh, I uh, took a moment to uh, save my uh, gold and attack his knight here. I was trying to get more pressure against that before delivering this check. Originally, I hoped to, with this check to win the uh, dragon here. Now I was settling for winning the knight. Um, but it turns out um, this doesn't work either. <laughs> I looked at this with Elmo, and there's a good move for, uh, for Gote here. Uh, he just moves his bishop here that blocks the check, and it also defends along this diagonal. So I can't even uh, take, <clears throat> I can't even take his uh, knight after that. And, uh, and so he's just winning because I have, I have hanging pieces. I have a rook that's hanging and a uh, gold that's hanging and being attacked by the silver there. So that was it. I just got lucky that he, he missed the fact that he was in check and made some other move. And then I won the game by illegal move. Anyway, it's fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.